Hey guys, what's going on? This is Apple Investigator here, and in this video, we're going to be doing some speed testing comparisons between two of the market's hottest flagship phones today. We have the iPhone 6S Plus, which was just released yesterday, alongside the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Now, the iPhone 6S Plus pretty well retains the same design as the last generation, with a lot of internal changes. The Note 5, on the other hand, takes design cues from the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. Now taking a look here, we have closed all the applications. The first thing that I do want to do though is a fingerprint test to see which one actually is able to load quicker. The Touch ID on the iPhone 6S Plus has been very, very fast. And comparing the two here, you guys can see that they are actually very similar. Both are very speedy at recognizing a fingerprint and logging you in. Next, we are going to do a Geekbench test. Now, I have sped this up to four times the speed just to get a general idea here of the scores. We're getting 2528 on the single core and 4416 on the multi core score for the iPhone 6S Plus. And we're getting 1494 for the single core and 5151 on the multi core for the Note 5. Keep in mind here that the RAM is double on the Note 5 at 4 gigabytes instead of 2. And it also has an octa core processor, 8 cores instead of dual core, which is 2 cores on the 6S Plus. The next test that we are going to be doing here is a networking test to compare the download and upload speeds via speed test and this will give us a good idea. Both devices here are AC compatible and we can see that on the 6S Plus we are getting a download speed of 27.48. Just waiting for the upload speed to come in now and I am running these two separately just to avoid any interference on the network which will keep it fair for both devices. On the upload we are getting a score of about 4.78 and now we are running it on the Note 5. So it will be interesting to see if either one of these has an advantage in terms of networking performance. It does appear that the Note 5 is actually ringing up at around 29 right now. Let's see if it is able to finish around there and it does it does finish at 29.3 which is a little bit higher than the iPhone 6s Plus and on the upload speed Let's see if we can get it above 5 here. It does look like the Note 5 is finishing with a score of about 5.29. So increased performance on the Note 5 it does appear. Finally guys, I am going to run the N22 benchmark which is a very good benchmark. It does a variety of things such as the RAM as well as multitasking performance and some GPU things as well. So let's get right into this one here. I have sped this up as well to four times the speed just so that we aren't sitting here all day. So we will just watch both of these devices go through their paces here. They are about one third of the way done here. And I'm very interested to see how this result shapes up. Once again, it is interesting to note that the iPhone 6S Plus is still a dual core device. It's running the A9 processor, clocked in at 1.8 gigahertz this year. It's getting about a 400 megahertz increase from the last generation iPhone, which was a A8 dual core at 1.4 gigahertz. It also has increased its RAM from one gigabyte to two this year. And I must say that iOS 9 is really smooth on this device. Now the final scores have come in now and we are getting a score of 59,132 on the 6S Plus and a final score of 64,607 on the Galaxy Note 5. So very interesting here. Quite similar, but the Note 5 does finish a little bit ahead. So guys, that pretty well does wrap up this video between the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and the iPhone 6S Plus. Very interesting to see two of the top end flagships go head to head in some benchmark tests. Basically, what you guys want is up to you. Both phones are very great, snappy and speedy. A lot of it, I would say, does come down to the platform that you prefer and what you are doing with your device. Um, iOS 9 is very nice on this device that was Android 5.1.1 on the Galaxy Note 5 and it was very smooth as well. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Please be sure to check out some of the other videos I've done on the 6S Plus. I'll have those linked down below. Thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe for more videos and have a great day.